Hi, I'm Terrence Lennon of Ivory Key Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to route multiple Core 2 channels into discrete tracks in Ableton Live. I will assume that you're already familiar with the basics of Ableton and concentrate mostly on the routing scheme. Click on the plugin folder and insert Core 2 by 16 click on the show hide sound edit area now there's no particular order in which to set up your instruments and routing so we will select one of many workflows we will create three additional channels input channels expect to receive audio from the plugin. Source channels receive no audio from the plugin. So it really doesn't matter which one you use in this case. Note that all channels are receiving MIDI from Omni or all of the MIDI channels and all of them are sending their outputs to the master channel in Core 2. Core 2's master channel is simply sending its output to plugin output 1. So plugin output 1 and the master are the same. For channel 1, we're going to receive MIDI input from MIDI input 1. We're going to send our output to plugin output 1. The second channel we will receive MIDI from MIDI 2, send output to output 2. For the third channel, we're going to receive MIDI from MIDI channel 3, and send output to output 3. For the fourth channel, the same thing. At this time, if you choose, you can delete the master channel. The master channel is simply a group channel that is designated as master. Now we can set up our routing in Ableton Live. I will remove my templates audio track just to give us more space. Click on Live's device icon open the instruments folder and insert three external instruments the track where you instantiated the core 2 plugin will always send its MIDI output to channel 1 and receive its audio input from output 1 or the master you cannot change this routing for the second track, we're going to go to the interface, MIDI 2, the core plugin 2x16, and we're going to send the MIDI data to channel 2 and receive its output from output 2. The third track, we're going to MIDI 2 core 2 by 16 we're going to send MIDI to channel 3 and we're going to receive the audio from output 3 the fourth channel we're going to go again send MIDI to core 2 by 16 send it to channel 4 and receive my audio from output 4 Now that we've set up our routing in Core 2 and Ableton Live, simply insert the instruments you wish to use in their respective channels in Core 2. Arm the track you wish to record to. On our first channel, we've inserted a Battery 3 kit. On our second channel, we have a massive bass. On our third channel, we have 
a pad from Absinthe. On our final channel, we have an Absinthe 5 lead sound. Record your MIDI data and simply press play. And there you have it. I hope you found this tutorial interesting. And I certainly will hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for listening.